This is week two of Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty event, and today I'm sharing some of my favorite makeup products for women over 40, and I'm creating this no makeup makeup tutorial that is so quick and easy, starting with this Aborian CC cream. I love this cream. I love the green version, and I wanted to try the regular version, and I did not disappoint. It just blends into your skin to create your own personal skin tone and it erases my redness perfectly without looking like I'm wearing makeup at all. It really just creates a beautiful natural finish and it looks like I'm wearing no makeup whatsoever. This Urban Decay eyeshadow primer has been a longtime favorite of mine. I just love how it makes everything I put on top of it blend better and look smoother and last longer and I just pop a little bit with my fingers from my lash line to my brow bone. Two eyeshadows is all you need to make a huge impact on your eyes starting with a champagne shade that I love to pop just onto the center of my eyelid and blend it out. It makes such a big difference. Black eyeshadow can be scary but it doesn't have to be. I just use it to make my lashes look thicker and fuller by pushing it into the eyelash line. And watch what happens when I apply mascara. It really makes my eyes pop. Look at the difference. Let's finish the other side. And now it's time for one of my all-time favorite products, the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. It just gives such a beautiful, natural look to my face and I just use a fluffy brush and apply it to the high planes of my face to give myself a nice natural glow. One of my favorite tricks is to apply just a dot of highlighter to my cheekbones to make them look fuller and plumper and make my skin look luminous. I just take one drop and tap it on the top of my cheekbones. I love a good plumping gloss, and this one from Kylie Cosmetics is awesome. This is the color Damn Gina, and it is like your lips, but better. It also has a plumping effect, so it will make your lips look fuller and plumper and more youthful. One of my favorite tips for applying lip liner is to apply it after you apply your lip gloss and also to keep your lip in its natural shape so you can actually see what your lips look like and it just gives a more natural more fuller lip lastly a good dousing of setting spray helps set everything and lock it into place i have linked all the products for you below including the colors and which days they are 50 percent off